Hey everybody, this is Straw Hat Mario here. Um, today we are going to do a discussion video on the next chapter of One Piece and beyond, since there is no chapter this week. Probably, there'll probably be a chapter next week of One Piece. And now I'm not really surprised that there isn't a chapter this week because the chapter of last week was supposed to release today of this week, but it was because it was leaked last week, we got it early. So this week we don't get a One Piece chapter, so we'll have to wait another week for another one. But before I get into the video, I just want to address a couple things. Um, One Piece Burning Blood videos won't be uploaded until I figure out some technical issues I'm having with the PS4 and my capture card. For some reason, it's not it's not processing through the thing, and it's not it, and it's just not working. It's not working on my capture card. So until I find a solution to that, um, there won't be any uh, Burning Blood videos or any of my PS4 games until then. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for that, please uh, put a comment below. I've looked up everything, looking at all the solutions. Nothing has been working for me. Um, I, but um, I think I should save that for another video. Anyway, um, so instead, we're just going to stay on One Piece chapters and we'll hold off on the Burning Blood videos until I get this thing figured out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in to this prediction I'll have. Okay, so as we all know, last chapter and the first part, Pudding was just um, bragging to Reiju about killing Sanji and killing the entire Vincent's family. And then she goes on and just mocks him to death. He, she just like completely roasts him. And Sanji has trouble lighting a cigarette, starts crying. We also see that Brooke stands up to Big Mom, calling her young lady. In, in the, my reaction video, I said it said my lady, but there was a mistranslation in the version that I read last week. He actually said young lady. <laughs> that was pretty badass. That, that was a pretty badass scene with Brooke. I'm um, not going to get too much into Chopper um, right now. And... Also, last chapter, we realized that Reju has the Memo Memo fruit where she can take out and edit memories and um, put in fake memories into your brain just by cutting out the ones you know. And, of course, the big one was that Luffy and Nami was rescued by Jinbei and it ended there. So this is a huge game changer for what's been going on. Sanji now knows of Pudding's plot and pretty much lost all hope in everything. Jinbei has freed Luffy and Nami. Either with Sanji, he's going to try to find Luffy and give him the food that he made for Pudding so he can eat and and because, you know, Luffy said that I'm not going to leave until yeah until I'm not going to eat a single thing until it's from the hands of you <laughs> pretty much um either that or maybe Sanji has something else up his sleeve maybe he's not going to he's not going to give Luffy the food maybe because how badly injured Luffy is and how bad how much he's gone through in this entire arc Maybe he'll try to cook up a recipe for that because we all know um, during the two year time skip when he was in Ivankov's island, oh, his little tranny island, <laughs> um, he had to fight to get certain recipes that do certain things to your body, like uh, makes you stronger, uh, maybe, maybe he learns some sort of healing recipe um, in that island. Which he will probably use if if he does, he will probably cook the recipe for Luffy for him to eat, so he can gain his strength back and he could gain his health back and he he could start fresh and begin to fight. Now, in regards to Luffy and Nami, now that they've been freed by Jinbei, I think you know they're probably Luffy's main thing right now is to go for Sanji, trying to get Sanji get him back and bring him back and maybe this time Sanji would uh, make things clear to him about what was going on and you know try to try to escape with him 
or maybe Sanji, knowing what Pudding is um, is up to, goes to goes through with the wedding and tries something crazy. Try something. Uh, comes up with some sort of plan to try to turn the tables on them. And Luffy, Nami, and Jinbei will go in and crash the wedding, and all hell will break loose. Um, I think it was Joy Boy theories that pointed this out that um, Pudding said something that was pretty foreshadowing that if any blood gets on Big Mom's cake, that she'll go on a complete fucking rampage. Which I think it would also probably happen once she opens the Tomatobacco box. That's another thing. Um, that's probably another thing that will probably happen in the uh, in the next chapter or after that or beyond that chapter if it doesn't happen in the next chapter. My other prediction is that upon you know maybe crashing the wedding or something, once the you know the plot thickens and it gets to the climax of this arc, I think I honestly think that Luffy's going to end up fighting Big Mom. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's, it's, they're probably just going to clash and, they're, and then they're just going to book it or whatever. No, I think the way this arc is building up, I think there is going to be a legitimate fight between Luffy and Big Mom. Now that, you know, the whole theory of Big Mom secretly being good or something like that, the, all the theories of, you know, her possibly being a future ally are pretty much out the window now. Now that, you know, it's been revealed of uh, Pudding's true colors and Big Mom's true intentions of killing the Vin Smokes so they can get their assets, get their clones, you know, just just killing them off altogether. Basically betraying them for their own for their own benefit. But um so I think that Luffy is going to fight Big Mom. A lot of people say, you know, he's not ready for Big Mom, he's he, there needs to be another time skip or whatever. There, he, he's just not ready for it because he had to use your gear fourth against Cracker. But I honestly, I, I thought this too for a while. I thought you know Luffy wasn't ready. But like I said, the way that this arc is built up is there. It's I think it's being built up to a Luffy versus Big Mom fight, and there is going to be a fight. And honestly. Luffy may, might be ready. I think Luffy might be ready because there are still other things that Luffy might uh, that Luffy can do that still hasn't been revealed yet. As we know from the flashback between Luffy and Silver is Rayleigh. You know, Rayleigh saying this Gear 4 thing puts too much strain on your body. You need to find something else to do or you need to find you need to find something uh, you need to find something to uh, that'll work with your body. You need to find something stronger. And Luffy came up with the idea. Uh, we all know about that flashback. Either that or we might be seeing a Gear 5th. Who knows? I would like to see a Gear 5th. Either way, I'd like to see a either new ability or just new Gear 5th altogether. That would be insane. But, um, but in a way, I do think Luffy may be ready for Big Mom. Um, a lot of people don't seem to think it, but I seem to think it because one main theme of One Piece is every every enemy that Luffy faces has always been way above his level. Like remember in the Alabasta arc when Luffy was fighting against Crocodile, and we had thought it would be just it was just impossible for him to lose. Well, I mean Luffy turned that around. And found a way to beat Crocodile. I believe that Luffy can do the same with Big Mom. He did that for Cracker, even though he had Nami's help. Um, but he, but he could have easily found another way if it wasn't for Nami, probably. And you know, there's a lot. There's a big theme in um, One Piece is just Luffy always persevering and always winning. Um, winning he is on a drug it's called charlie sheen <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a common thing on my on my channel is it anyway i think he's gonna he's gonna fight big mom and he's gonna win you just gotta believe in luffy believe in luffy because a lot of people have lost their faith 
that he'll actually win. No, I kind of agree with Code Provider on this one, that Big Mom is a pussy because she uses everyone else, everyone else's strength for her. They're, the best she can do is the Soul Soul Fruit and, you know, the homies. With the homies is what makes her strong. But without those homies, she's nothing more than a bitch. I mean, technically she's already a bitch, but you know what I'm getting. But anyway, that's all I have to say on that subject. Um, yeah, like I said, there won't be any Burning Blood videos until I get this problem figured out with the PS4 and my capture card. Um, that goes for any other PS4 games that I might be doing in the future. Um, so anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and uh, comment on the section below. Let me know your thoughts, if you agree or disagree with uh, my predictions. Also subscribe for more content, more One Piece content, and more um, Let's Plays, if you want to check those out as well. And I will see you guys on the flip side.